Do you want your crafted weapons to look like this in no time at all without even having to play the game? Well, I'm going to show you how to AFK get weapon XP. Okay, so I'm going to go over all the things you need. You need a void subclass. You can be on any of the three characters. You just need to have a void subclass with Echo of Starvation. That is all you need. It helps to make your resilience high and have double melee resist on. And then you also need a helmet with Kinetic Siphon on. You also need to download Tiny Task. It's a free macro. Very easy to use and very easy to set up. Go to the link in the description, download it, and I'll show you what to do from there. Simply join my Discord channel go to macro download the afk weapon xp macro and if you need help setting stuff up there's also an afk help where people are helping each other sharing checkpoints and helping each other get their macros running make sure you join the discord as well now this is where it gets hard you either need to have never done the witch queen campaign on whatever character you're doing this on or delete a character there is a third option we'll see i have the mission here in the deep someone can give you the checkpoint what you would have to do is load into the mission with them and they make you host and just leave that is also a super simple way so if you need the checkpoint join my discord server and ask people i can give it out to some people other people can give it to you but basically you need to have the quest step right here that says complete in the deep if you're confused on where to find this mission follow exactly where i go Once you get down here, simply start mission. If you have the mission, you don't know where you need to be. You need to be at this checkpoint where your mission on the left should say, take the hive cryptoglyph. Once you're here, it's very simple. You simply take the hive cryptoglyph. The room should become completely dark and you don't want to head up those stairs. That'll ruin the checkpoint. You want to kill every single acolyte in the room. There should be two on the stairs. And then four up on this ledge up here. One, two, three, four. That should be all of them. And now if you don't want to AFK and you just want to weapon up your levels fast, legit, just stand here and shoot these Thrall. They are non-stop spawning. That is why this is better than Shirochi, because they literally don't stop spawning. There's never any gap time from killing enemies. Now, if you do want to manually, if you do want to AFK level up a weapon, simply equip whatever weapon. It is possible with specials and heavy, but it's really hard to set up. So stick to using a primary. Anything that has infinite primary ammo is going to be a lot more efficient. So I've already got my battler up to level 7,000 and have a million kills on it. So let's say I want to, I want to level up my blood feud. Now it is easier with weapons that have incandescent. This will speed up the process of leveling a lot, like the callus mini tool, the battler. And this will also max out your crafting materials because every time you level up a weapon, past 20 you get 20 resonant elements how oh, i always have 10,000 and can always craft whatever i need so open up tiny task it should be on your screen like this hit preferences that continuous playback and make sure your playback hotkey is set to something you will remember mine is simply f12 then press open click on afk weapon xp rec which you should have from a discord server or if you're smart enough you can make your own with any macro service available whatever you want simply open it and now that i have it open i remember f12 is my button i'm gonna get the weapon i need out Firstly, you're going to want to kill some enemies to drop an orb so you can get devour going so you never die. I just remembered it can't be a stasis primary when you start out just to make sure the orb drops. So if you want to do a stasis primary like me, kill a couple enemies with a normal kinetic primary so the actual orb will drop. As you can see, the orb dropped. Now I'm going to switch back to my stasis one. Pick this up, I get devour. Now every kill I get will continue my devour no matter what character I'm on. Head to this rock right here. It's very simple to see right in the middle of the room. Line up with the little butt cheek of it. Crouch, look straight down at the enemies and turn on your macro. Mine's F12. And now it is going to AFK for me and kill all the thrall as long as I want. It is recommended if you want to do this, you lower your graphics settings and a couple other settings just to make life easier on the macro. Because if you have a lower end PC, you might experience crashes if you don't have your settings lowered. This will also get you dawning stuff if you're doing it during event. It also gives you Halloween candy during the Halloween event and a bunch of other materials during specific events. This specific farm has worked since crafting weapons came out with Witch Queen over a year now, and I don't see it getting patched anytime soon. But if it does, I'll be sure to have an updated guide for you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.